Sweet, please, sweet. Wolf, cut, and hold. Engage. One, two, three, four. No, up you come, lads. Up you come, please. Up you come. Let's have the hands up with the shoot me, gentlemen. Go seconds, go seconds. Go seconds. Cut and hold. Engage. Stay there, lads. Stay on, stay on. Box out. So it's the Warriors' turn to have seven men in the pack, but they do adequately from the scrum. Cullen. Oh, perfectly placed by Christian Cullen. I think he meant that actually. I think it was an up and under. Space Come off, he hooked it a little bit, yeah, then it's turned into a good kick. He hooked it round at the last moment, didn't he? Three, three, three. Robert Sidoli has a scrum half there, so the ball will have to be thrown to him when he enters the line. And Munster know exactly where it will be going. Where? To whom, anyway? Although where Sidoli would join the line was the question. It's well smuggled by Martin Jones. Cooper had precious little room though. Well, that's just kicking possession away. They needed a whole possession and build through the phases. Just giving possession away in a, in a bad area for them. Holland. That might go dead. No. Wasn't the best of kicks from Holland either. So just a poor passage of kicking by both teams. One thing the Warriors will be looking at though is that clock ticking down yep. until Richard Parks comes back on. Neil Jenkins his last game, two points in it. Drop goal, Neil Jenkins. Thank you very much. What a way to end your saddest road career. Uh, the Warriors would settle for that, and the 4,000 crowd that's been given here tonight would love it as well. I think there's more than 4,000 here. Maybe they want to buy another player next year, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe they want Arwell back from Poe. Still Neil Jenkins' is departing boots. Anthony Holborn won't be happy with that inside ball because he clocks one right on the, on the chin. Bang, thank you very much. I'm giving Ben a bit of the doubt and said he went for the ball. Yes, I think there's more than 4,000 here, actually. Let me... Not as far as the taxman is concerned, no. There's some hospitality boxes up here next time we come, no? Substitutions, Blue. Yeah, top. Substitutions. Bring up, bring up. Four. Four, Blue. Four blue. Four blue. That's Daniel Jones, who before tonight had started every Celtic League game for the Warriors. And the first names down on the sheet. They've been very impressed with his contribution this year. So he will be guns blazing for the final ten minutes as he replaces Brent Cobain. Brent Cobain, replaced by Daniel Jones. Jim Williams again with the line out possession. Oh, Henderson too easily through the middle again. Holland looking either side, not hurrying, not panicking, holding on to it. And they'll get the scrum. There's a little bit of a gamesmanship going on there because as that break was made, Foley's on the outside and was just pulled back yeah. a little bit. Let's go! Let's go, Roll! There's the break. Bang, here he comes. Watch Foley on the short ball. Up, thank you very much. Johnny Bryant. Not the way. Uh, Let's do it again, lads. Come, come up. How to stop a supporting player? Just cheat. Just cheat. Anthony Foley in midfield now. They're just having seven against seven in the scrum, and Foley between the two centres. Yeah, what that does, it gives you the extra man out wide then, Gareth, so he will take the ball in, 
simple, won't Harris. commit many bucks. Jim Williams up. takes it on another couple of meters. Good foraging by Johnny Bryant, dispossessing you and Redden, and that was absolutely vital. Jenkins. That is a fantastic kick. Superb. Absolutely superb. Johnny Bryant, that's one thing, he has been very, very slow. Red in the scrum half, you know, he's picked the ball up, he's had a little look. Two pass, two steps, and then wallop, watch his kick. Now they need to, now they need to attack the line-out. Just under eight minutes, well, that didn't look particularly straight. The crowd didn't think so, only Andy Ireland did. And he's the one who's got the whistle in his mouth, or in his pocket, by the way it looks at the moment. Again, Henderson goes for the outside break. Neil Jenkins with a tackle. Mike Mullins, first man in there, to make sure Munster keep that valuable possession. Flannery with a little flick back. Good play by Kelly to Holland. Again, Holland doesn't panic. But again, they're driven off the ball. Flannery again, doing very well indeed. Lovely slip. He's worked a couple of times with Kelly O'Callaghan. Lovely play. That's gone forward that time though to Jim Williams. And look at for Munster. Lovely play, you know. Confidence in, in their own ability to offload in traffic. Just Cullen try to slip the ball. Watch this ball. Bang, and another short ball coming up here. And another one. Lovely short pass. Good angle. Tries to get his hands out of the tackle. Well, it's Frank Murphy there, wearing number 20. Just been caught a few too many times, hasn't he? But he's played well apart from that. Just needs to get that ball away slightly quicker. And there's another bit of work for Mr Pemberton. Richard Musto. Nice looking scar on his cheek by the look of that. Character building, that. <laughs> Birds love a scar on a chop. <laughs> the women. It's Isaiah Havili. I would say there's a on. few more stitches on eight in there. Cooper again goes on the wide arc, but he's being well watched now. Daniel Jones again picks it up and there's the hard graft just near the point of breakdown. And Gary Cooper's had a very busy night again this evening. Looked good for Wales last week. And again, Neil Jenkins' touch kicking towards this stand is just a dream. been no points scored or conceded since Richard Parks left the field and his time in the bin is almost up now then and at last at long last the referee has noticed one that hasn't gone straight no, but more importantly I think it's a good field position where do we attack from So Richard Parks has uh, 60 seconds to keep warming on that touchline. Just break up. That's mine here. That's mine here. Gareth Wyatt just coming up near that scrum. Uh, Cody Harris is in a bit of trouble, is he? That's mine here, seven. Yeah. And Jim Williams. Only got 14 caps for Australia, it's a bit surprising. Seems to have been around a long, long time. With his experience okay along now? with the likes of Henderson, Anthony Foley. And these two, even though they're young boys in the second, second row, they've got a bit of international experience behind them now, O'Callaghan and O'Connell. They're the ones that Munster will be looking to. 